Morning everyone, I hope you're doing well today. For me, yesterday was one of those rare days where, for all kinds of reasons, I didn't get to eat my tea. I just didn't have a big enough gap anywhere uh, in that part of the day. And so I, I didn't get to eat until right at the end of the day when I, when I got home at about 9.30. Uh, and what that meant was that as the evening went on, I just got hungrier and hungrier. And, uh, and again, as the evening drew on, more and more of my brain space was taken up thinking about food. You know, what am I going to eat when I get back? Or how much longer am I going to be before I can eat? And just more and more consumed by thinking about food. And those who were with me last night are now thinking, oh, that makes a whole load of sense. As I say, it doesn't happen uh, very often, just once in a, in a blue moon for me usually. But uh, yeah, there's just this longing, this kind of to get back and to get some food. Well, I got in, I zapped some very welcome leftovers. Uh, and as I tucked into my pasta, a song popped into my head. Uh, you probably know a version of it. And as the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. And you're probably singing some version of that in your head right now. Uh, well, when I first heard those, those lyrics and the, the psalm that it's based on, it comes from Psalm 42. As the deer pants for the streams of water... So my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. Where can I go and meet with God? Well, when I first heard those words, the image it conjured in my mind, at least, was this kind of idyllic woodland scene. Beautiful surroundings, glorious, sunny day. And there in a little clearing in the woodland is this amazing pond, you know, with loads of pretty flowers all around it. Just a beautiful idyllic scene. And there in the background is this, is this deer just serenely standing in the shade and lapping the cool water from the edge of the pond. And it's a beautiful scene. It would look amazing on a photo or a postcard. But it's not the, the scene that we see in Psalm 42. The, the scene isn't of a deer that's got the water and is just enjoying this beautiful uh, scene that it's in. It's a deer that doesn't have the water and is panting and longing for it. So it's much more like a scene where the, the deer has found itself in a, in a wilderness and is desperately scanning the horizon, looking for any sign of water. Is there a drop to drink anywhere? Where am I going to get something to drink? That's the kind of longing that the psalm is talking about. A bit like my longing last night for something to eat. How how soon am I going to get back? What am I going to eat when I get there? And, and all of that is that kind of longing. But whereas for me, it was very simply that I'd missed a meal and I wanted to, to make up for that and get some food in my belly. Um, for, for the psalmist, it's a, it's a spiritual longing. It's a hung, hungering after God, a thirsting after God, longing for God's presence. And so as I sat there eating my pasta with this tune going through my head, it just made me think, you know, I skipped one meal, one meal. And I was really hungry. Uh, you know, in the, um, the story of Jesus in the wilderness, there's 40 days in the wilderness. And then it just casually says, and he was hungry. I'm like, I got there after one skipped meal. <laughs> and that's all it can say for Jesus after 40 days. But yeah, I got there with food after just one uh, meal missed. And it made me think as I was eating my pasta, do I long for God? Do I long for God's presence in that kind of a way? And if I'm honest, I think my physical hunger is far ahead of my spiritual hunger. And I just felt challenged by that. Maybe there's a challenge in that for you as well. And one of the things that I think can help us, because these two things are linked, one of the things that can help us grow that hunger for God is the discipline of fasting. Fasting is where we, we choose to, um, to miss a meal, to forego a meal. In order, and, and then when the hunger kicks in, we direct that hunger towards God. We allow that hunger to point us towards God. And it can help us to learn you know, that spiritual longing and yearning after the presence and the power of God at work in our lives. And, and, and by fasting, I don't mean missing a meal um, accidentally like I did yesterday. That was just poor planning on my part. F 
Fasting is about a conscious, deliberate choice that we make to say, I'm going to skip this meal or this day's worth of food. And in the hunger, the physical hunger that I experience, I'm going to learn to, to point that towards God and to grow a spiritual hunger for the presence of God. So certainly a challenge for me as I ate my pasta late last night. I wonder whether there's something in there for you as well. And if you want to find out more about fasting, we're, we're looking at Jesus teaching in the Sermon on the Mount on Sundays at the moment. And this coming weekend, we've got to Matthew 6 and Jesus teaching on fasting. You're welcome to join us nine o'clock or 10.30. We'd love to make you welcome. Why don't I pray for us? Lord, I thank you that you can teach us in all kinds of ways, that you speak to us um, in so many ways as well. And I thank you for speaking to me last night as I ate my pasta, just gently nudging me to, to grow that spiritual hunger for your presence and your power. And so I pray for myself and for any others uh, watching this, that you would yeah, you would help us direct our longing and our desire towards you. That in those moments where, we, where we're waiting for something, when we're hungry or thirsty, that, that we'd also be prompted to hunger and thirst after you as well. And if fasting is something we need to build in, would you help us to do that? For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.